thing on? Anybody watching? I guess we're live. I'm not really live. I'm not broadcasting live, but I'm going to do this all in one shot. That's why I call it my one take, hot take market update because editing video is very boring and I don't want to do that. So uh, I'm just going to wing it. I've prepared a little bit. I've prepared some slides, scratched down a few notes. I did not um, lubricate my chair. So you're going to get all the chair squeaks plus all the ums and ahs, raw, unfiltered, uncut, unedited. So here we go. This is what happened in the Calgary real estate market in July. Okay. I'm going to start by showing you the, the overall trend. Boom. So this graph, um, the red bars represent the sales volume. The gray bars represent the inventory, the number of listings on the market, and the white line is the benchmark price. And I will state it again because it bears repeating. Benchmark price is not the average price. Um, benchmark price is a composite, the housing price index that uh, shows what a typical home in Calgary would sell for. So that's climbing up to 460k now. Now this is an overall. Um, uh, an overall result. So all types of, of dwellings. And when I do these market updates, I break it down into the different categories of dwellings because it's important because the, the way the market is behaving is completely different from one end of the spectrum, um, you know, detached homes to the under, other end of the spectrum, which would be like condominium apartments. Um, so as you can see, that red, that red, uh, trend is going down, so the sales are, are slowing down a little bit. But what you're seeing there is, is kind of a kind of a seasonal slowdown. It's normal for things to slow down a little bit in the summer. It's not a threat. It's not a it's not a trend uh, of any any long term process or whatever. Um, and you can also see that the inventory kind of peaked in June, and that's coming back a little bit too. So July is always a little bit of a slower month. People take vacations. Kids are at home. Stampede, yada yada. Um, never really a big month for real estate. It was an okay month for me. Um, the first half of it, I was really busy, but that was mostly working on stuff from the previous months that that you know I sort of finished up in July. Didn't really do much new business in July, if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm starting to get busy again. That's you know just my own personal experience. Um, but I mean, as a whole, on the whole, um, on the whole, the. Um, Calgary market had a good month. That was uh, the best July on record. So that's good news. Um, so it, how you interpret these these statistics is important. Like you see things going down, um, you got to look at the bigger picture. And that was a that was a big month for July, the best on record. Um, all of the all of the losses since 2014 have been recovered, and in some cases, um, we've made gains from from the previous peak. Um, and we're, we're above long-term averages for sales and for pricing. So the real estate market in general um, is very healthy in Calgary right now. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not going into that sort of bubble thing. Like if you were watching the market in, you know, March, April, May, when things were going up really fast and, and it was a scramble to buy stuff and there was a lack of inventory, it smoothed out a little. Uh, it smoothed out a lot. Um, there's, there's not necessarily multiple offers on, on every home now. Um, but stuff that is presented well and marketed well and in good condition and priced right, still going to sell right away. But the difference is now, you know, the stuff that doesn't show very well, uh, is overpriced, isn't in great shape, is not going to sell. Um, whereas, you know, a few months ago, people were just buying anything they could get their hands on because there was so little and there were so many more buyers than there were sellers. That's not the case anymore. It's returning to a balanced condition. So, um, yeah, you can see the, the sales dipping a little bit, uh, inventory following a little bit. Um, if I go to the next one, detached, this is, this is the bread and butter for the Calgary market. Everybody wants a detached home. And this is why we go into the different graphs because, you know, in terms of, of inventory, for the whole market, there's like three months supply of inventory. Uh, but that doesn't tell the whole picture because uh, for detached home, there's a little under two months of supply. And for apartments, there's over six months of supply. So when I say months of supply, that means 
if you took all the inventory that's on the market right now and people stopped putting new product on the market, that's how long it would take for all that stuff to sell out. That's kind of a sales pace. Um, so for, for detached in July, um, 3,109 listings down a little bit from this time last year. So these are all those, those, um, <laughs> those, uh, down and up or whatever that's versus the same period last year. This versus July of 2020 Now July of 2020, again, 2020 really weird year to benchmark against, um, because the market went over a cliff and then shot back up. It did like this, this check mark, this V recovery thing. Um, but by the but July of last year was not much different from July of this year, and, and things were things were picking up. Um, Fourteen hundred and thirteen sales of detached homes. That's up twenty percent over last July, and inventory, uh, or sorry, new listings eighteen hundred and twenty two. That's that's up ten percent over last July. Now, one thing that I'm witnessing now this is just anecdotal. This is just um, you know from my own limited perspective, but people are listing stuff now. They, they've been seeing. Uh, you know the prices go up in the in the in the hot market. They think, well, we got to sell our house, and there's been a lot of crap going on in the market too. And and you know, crap is crap, and, and it's it's uh, if it's not priced right, it's not going to sell. Um, but you know, the greater picture here is that the inventory is is catching up with the demand. But it's still you know, particularly in detached homes, this is still a seller's market. So you've still got like I think 78% sales to new listings ratio. So for for every hundred listings that go up. 78 gets sold. So the inventory is accumulating pretty slowly, right? That is a, that is a seller's market condition. Um, average price way up, 584,000, up 7% over this time last year. So um, that's leveling off. Prices have been making some big climbs, but it's leveling off. But you know, we're knocking on, we're knocking on 600 grand for an average price of a detached home. Um, that's, that's really getting up there. It's still cheap for Canada. I mean, if you compare that to, to Toronto where um, I think it's like 1.4 or 1.5 million. It's more than double. Um, we're still very affordable. And, and I'm, again, anecdotally and from my own limited perspective, I'm having more and more conversations with people in Southern Ontario that want to move here because um, they can afford a way nicer house. Um, uh, and, you know, if you're being honest with yourself, it's pretty nice here. There's very low crime. It's, uh, it's very clean. There's great scenery. The mountains are right there. So they, they like the lifestyle. And they're working from home, so they have more flexibility of choosing where they can work. If you, they were in a downtown office building in, in, in the GTA, and they don't have to be in the office to do their job anymore, they don't need to pay you know, GTA prices and have GTA murder rates and, and uh, GTA hot, sticky, uh, and humid summer weather. So there's, um, I think we're going to see more and more of that. Um, you know, myself personally, I've been reaching out to some top producing Toronto agents and saying, hey, let's... let's uh, Let's come up with a little partnership here. If you've got some some clients coming out my way, um, you need someone competent to refer them to. Love to help them out, right? Um, days on market, uh, that's down 31% year over year. So 33 days on average it takes. That's up a little bit from last month, I think, but down from the same period last year. When you see, um, you know, when, when you see these stats next year, the 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 gains, the drops and increases won't be so dramatic because we're not comparing against a totally crazy 2020. And sold versus list price up year over year, 98.18%. I think that's down a little bit from last month. Um, and, you know, that means that people are getting 98% of, of what they asked for the houses. Some people are getting more, some people are getting less. It averages out at 98%. And that's based on the current list price when it sells. That's not based on the original list price, okay? So if you if you overprice your house, you list it for $600,000. Um, and it's really worth five fifty, dollars And you lower it to... You know, 579, and then you lower it to 559, and then you lower it to 549, and you sell it for 545. Um, even though you know, then you got like 98% of, of your asking when it's not based on your original asking, it's based on the current asking. So it's that's an important distinction. So, um, if we look at the uh, the graph on detached, you can see the sales um, drop off there pretty dramatically from, from the previous month, and again, that's normal, that's that's a seasonal. Um, slow down. That's just July. July is normally a, a slow month. Uh, and you can see the inventory um, with a, a somewhat um, proportional drop as well. But the price continues to chug upwards. But it's it's gradual. So, it's, you know, you see that, that sharp spike that was January, February, March, April, and it's sort of leveled off. So prices are still going up. They're just not going up so dramatically. So um, that that's good. We're, we're, in a, we're in a healthy, a balanced condition. Um, 
when prices are going up really quickly, it, it brings in speculative buyers, um, which compound the problem, which, which you know, it, drive you towards a bubble condition where um, there's a scramble to eat up whatever supply there is there and the supply can't keep up with the demand. That's not happening in Calgary right now. We're in a, we're in a healthy, balanced market. So um, again, it, this is still a seller's market when it comes to detached homes. If you're buying a detached home, you still have to be sharp. Um, you still have to go look at that. If a house pops up in the market, you got to be checking your inbox, you know, because I'm going to be sending you those um, those automatic emails and you're going to have to open that as soon as you get it. And if you see something you love, you're going to have to call me right away and you say, Taylor, we got to go look at this. And I'm going to go the same day and we're going to look at it. And if you love it, we're going to make an offer. You still have to move quick. You don't have time to be picky. Um, but um, it's, it's not as crazy as it was. So if I go now to the next category, well, let's spend a little more time on this. Have I covered it all? Yeah, benchmark price, knocking on 550. Um, supply, um, you know, around 3,000 units on the market. And uh, um, the sales volume um, down around, you know, a little, a little below half of that. So the next category is semi-detached. So these are your duplexes, half a duplex, right? Popular category, um, somewhat undersupplied. So um, supply is down, sales are up, uh, new listings are up. So I think, you know, builders and developers are, are catching up a little bit. Um, a lot of these semi-detached tend to be infills and, and stuff like that. Um, and again, this is this is resale data. This is not, not new home data. Um, average price way up. Days on market, way down, sold versus list price, 98%. Now these numbers compared to last month's numbers, if you go back and watch that video, you, you'll see it cooling off a little bit, but still, um, everything's looking really healthy here. And that's and that's a great category for people that, you know, on average, like 100 grand less than, uh, than a detached home. So that's a nice uh, compromise, a move up from someone that's maybe moving up from an, uh, an apartment or, um, you know, a, or a townhome that wants a yard and a garage, something like that, and a little more privacy, you know, uh, um, a grade level entry, so not a hallway entry or an elevator or anything like that, um, and not, not any shared property, but one party wall, so, you know, you have one roofmate. Um, those are also appealing to people that want, um, you know, for the same amount of money that want a more central location. So in a, in a semi-detached home, you could get maybe closer to city center for the same money as um, as a detached that is further out into the into the burbs, right? So um, that's a really healthy market right now as well. And if I show you the trend on that, we're seeing much of the same story now. Sales sales dipping, uh, inventory coming back a little bit too, and then you know a nice steady um, consistent gain in prices, nothing drastic. My next category, row homes. So. Townhouses, right? Um, ground level entry, grade level entry, and uh, um, more inventory, more sales, up 75% in, in sales year over year. 351 of those sold in July, uh, 511 new listings. Now, I, I've been showing some clients some, some um, um, what do you call it, row homes, and they, they've definitely heated up a little bit. Um, nice gains in prices. These, these got down to where they were really cheap and I was featuring them every Friday where you could get for under 300K, you were, you were able to get like a pretty nice, pretty new um, townhome with a garage and three bedrooms and that sort of thing. That's harder to find now. And you can see there now the average price, um, 326,000, that's coming up. So um, more people are buying those. And uh, days on market down, sold versus list price up. And if I show you the trend line on those, much the same story. The prices have kind of tapered off. That's the white line. The prices have kind of leveled off around that uh, 300K mark. A um, little seasonal dip in, in sales and uh, you know a corresponding drop a little bit in, um, in inventory. And you can see like a pretty, pretty large gap between uh, you know, the inventory um, and, and the sales. So that's like a, you know, a few months supply on those. Um, good, good selection on something like that. If we go to apartment, that's my last category. Um, it's mostly good news on apartments, but 
still still a tough market for for sellers for apartments. This is still a buyer's market. You know, there's almost 2,000 markets or uh, apartments on the market, up 12% over the same time last year. And I mean, last year people were dumping their apartments. Um, sales are up. 346 apartments were sold last month. That's good news. Nobody wanted an apartment in 2020, in, in you know, especially for the first half of the year and going into July. Nobody, people wanted to get uh, out of that those, you know. Um, more dense uh, habitation situations, right? Um, and get their own space. Uh, new listings are up. Average price down. Having trouble breaking through that 250K mark. Days on market down, but still 64 days on market on average. Sold versus light list price up a little bit. Still a buyer's market on apartments. If you're looking for an apartment, it's it's all good news for you. There's lots to pick from. And um, you've got a lot of negotiation leverage. And you get a lot for your money right now. Um, for sellers, it's a little tough, and you know what I've been saying. I, I, we could see a um, we could see a rebound of apartments later in the year or next year. Um, well, you know, I'm a little bit less bullish on apartments now because uh, you know I'm hearing about a lot of developers that want to put more high rises in Calgary and 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 flood the inventory even more. And there's more and more talk of you know, all these vacant office buildings becoming condo conversions and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of product on there. So I think for the for the foreseeable future, we're going to see still um, a lot of supply, a lot of inventory, buyer's market on those. And now if I just go to the trend, prices stay pretty flat. Um, you can see December 2020, the, the, the drop in supply as people took stuff off the market. That's come back up. Cooling off a little bit, right? Um, slowing down a tiny bit and uh, prices, you know, kind of stuck where they are around that 250k mark. Now, I threw in a bonus slide, and this is my first time doing this in my market report, but um, just, a, just a basic summary of, of Airdrie, because I do live in Airdrie, and uh, I don't do as much business as in Airdrie as, I, as I'd like to, um, but this is where I live, and you want to see a hot market, so... Um, more sales than new listings, like over 100% sales to new listings. Race. Very, very hot market. Now, this is overall. This is, you know, including apartments. I mean, there's not a lot of apartments in Airdrie. It's not a big market here. Most most people live in a detached home in Airdrie. But um, 1.33 months of supply. Um, benchmark price of 387K. So I think places like Airdrie uh, are becoming more and more attractive. Um, and the reason I live here is because when I bought my house, I could get more for my money. So those people that are fleeing the city center and, and dumping their apartments, places like Airdrie um, are really appealing. So we're seeing the effect on, on our market here where, um, you know, there's actually more being sold than going on the market. So the inventory is drying up. So um, big time seller's market in Airdrie. Uh, really, really hot market here. And, and it's it's worth pointing out. So I threw in a slide for that. So that's my one take hot take market update for july how long did that take where's the clock 18 minutes are you still with me that was a long 18 minutes it went by pretty quick though um i'd love to hear your feedback if there's other information or details you you'd like to learn about um comment uh send me a dm give me a call and uh it's thursday right enjoy your weekend